Hi, today we're looking at a standard C55A HT. Talk about a rarity. These things are uh, these things were awesome back in their day before uh, Vertex Yezu bought them out. Uh, standard was the highest quality radio at the time. Um, cross band, dual band, dual watch, uh, actual true dual band with uh, two controllers, squelch and volume. Um, this radio is in pretty nice shape. Uh, it's got the um, transmit busy light there, as you can see, it just briefly lit up. Um, it's got the um, external microphone speaker that can plug in there. The cover is still intact. Uh, aftermarket antenna. Uh, here's the VFO knob. And here is the, a little hard to do with one hand. There's the on off switch. Uh, it's going to be kind of hard to show, but the backlight does work. Uh, I got some high quality pictures that you can see along with this. Lamp squelch off, does work. Uh, speaker works nicely, microphone works nicely, all the buttons work, there's nothing worn off. Um, this is the extended 12 volt battery. Um, they will give you the uh, full 5 watts out. Uh, the smaller battery uh, only does uh, 2.5 watts. Okay, and speaking of the small battery, here we go, 7.2 7 volts, I think. And um, this is brand new. I got this, uh, I got this um, about, um, I found it uh, surplus on the internet uh, right after I got the radio. I got the radio about five months ago, and unfortunately the person that sold it to me was not totally forthright on everything. It does work perfectly fine, uh, but uh, there were a couple things that uh, he failed to um, mention. That's not why I'm getting rid of the radio. I'm getting rid of the radio because I have so many radios. I've been just off offing a bunch of radios that I had. I need to thin down the herd. And um, that's what happens when you start collecting a lot of ham gear. Um, what comes with the auction? As you can see in the pictures, I'll show you again in the video. Uh, shorter battery. Okay, charges just fine. Both batteries are uh, five months old. Got them right after I got the radio. This is a stock battery that came with the radio. Uh, it will not charge in the fast charger, but it will charge on the wall wart. Um, the uh, back uh, contacts are bad. It will not charge in the fast charger. I opened it up, tried to fix it, didn't bother, so I just closed it up. I'm going to throw it in with the auction. This way, whoever gets it, if they decide, they can fix it themselves. This is the wall war charger that they gave me. Um, it's multiple voltage. Um, I could not stand for that, so I went ahead and I bought $70 CSA 181 from Batteries America. There's the box for it. There's the actual charger. As you can see, it is charging. Okay, so it does work. Um, uh, let's see what else. You're gonna get the DC charger, but the DC charger does not go straight into the radio. It's this little add-on where the battery goes on, it plugs in, and you put in the cigarette lighter in the car, and you get 5 volts. Uh, this was a little flaky. I opened it up, and I pushed the contacts up, and I put some material behind it to keep the contacts raised. This rate is from 96, so you figure after all these years, the contacts got worn down, but I just put something behind them, and it, it does work now. Uh, the carrying strap, schematics. There's the original invoice for the first person that got it, the manual, the fly sheet where they made a mistake, original box, there's the battery uh, box for the battery that I bought right after I bought the radio, and this is for the other battery right here, the original one. Uh, let's see what else I can show you here. Let's do an on-air test. It's a real nice radio. It works perfectly fine. Before we do the on-off test, the on-air test, I'm going to show you what I was disappointed in. Um, the person that sold me the radio did not disclose this. Um, the rubber split by the function switch. The press to talk works fine. The function switch works fine. It's just somebody did a little glue job to go ahead and fix it. Uh, does it work? Yes. As you can see, the function does work. Okay, the key does work. The, the antenna they gave me was broken, so I got an aftermarket one. Okay, so just want to disclose, I got to be very honest. You know, the, the radio is really nice. It's not beat up. A little bit of scuff marks by the belt clip. 
the body of the radio is nice except this right here they did a little job to close it up so everything works perfect on it though just letting you know I do not want anybody disappointed like what I went through um, it, it was not a disappointment getting the radio this is probably the best radio in my arsenal but I have so many other radios that I had to make a choice and I'm deciding to keep my Kenwood because uh, it actually does remote with my uh, TS2000 base so I'm keeping my Kenwood HT and everything else is going I've gotten rid of everything this is the last radio I got uh, let's go out here I'm gonna do a local uh, radio check on a repeater it's a it's a local repeater and uh, then we're gonna go to two meter simplex to show that it actually works okay so let's go here and let's give a call out W9MRB and I know SSU I changed the VFO by mistake let me go back here sorry Mike Kind of hard to do it with one hand. I changed the VFO as you were talking. How's everything going, Mike? Very hot, but otherwise fine. How about yourself? Summertime, my friends. Summertime. It is going to get hot out there. I'm just uh, showing off the standard C558A. Hate to get rid of it. Probably my best radio in my arsenal, like I said on the video here, but I got to thin out the herd. Um, how's the audio on this, Mike? We're on a local repeater. It's it's about five miles away, but it's only doing about ten watts. So uh, Mike is about uh, he's about it's about five six miles from me. Hi Mike, can we take it over to a two meter simplex? Let's take it to the five fifty so we can show that it works on two meters. Okay. Oh, yeah, right. QSY NSSU. So we're gonna go over to two meters. That's actually simplex. Okay, there we go. We're on simplex. Hello, Mike. Long time no talk. W9MRB and I know SSU. How do we sound on simplex? I sound really good here. Crystal clear. Of course, the audio is a little better because it's simplex, you know. I sound like you're right in my room. Good signal. No noise behind you at all. Yeah, we're not being processed to the uh, repeater, so yes, it uh, it does sound a lot better. Okay, I just wanted to give a uh, quick showcase on the radio, make sure that it works, just showing people that it works. The battery is uh, withstanding all this talking, um, so I'm going to let you go, Mike. After I'm done with that, I'll uh, I'll meet you back up on a repeater. W9MRB and I know you. So as you can see, the receive and the uh, transmit light do work on top. Let's go on to... And not overnight. Slight chance of showers and thunderstorms. Waves There's one the, to uh, two weather feet. station. Monday, northwest winds five. Uh, it's not modified. Actually, I'm, I'm wrong about that. It is modified to transmit out of band. I'm sorry about that. I did not even ever realize that, boy. <laughs> I feel like a boob now. Um, so it does have the Mars cap perform because it transmitted out of band. Um, let's see here. Um, So it does have the Mars cap on it. I'm sorry about that. I just figured I'd check it right now just to show you. It does have it. It is expanded. It is open to uh, talk out of band. I really thought it wasn't because I never checked it before. So that's here's the radio. Okay, uh, this is uh, what you get. Uh, it's kind of hard for me to do with one hand. Let me take the. So you put the battery in. It starts charging. You could do it on the radio or off the radio. Again, here's the radio without a battery and you do get the aftermarket antenna okay uh, the stock antenna was no good and again it's in nice shape the belt clip has a little bit of uh, wear on it a little bit of uh, rubbing and I showed you the button 
These are really, really hard to find. They're really hard to find with the box and the original invoice and the manual and the uh, mobile adapter. And I'm also throwing in the charger. I had the charger when I bought the radio. I might have used it about two or three times to charge the batteries. Never used it again. $70 shipped to my house. I think it was something like 75, 80 bucks. I don't even remember. It was up there. Waste of my money. And guess what? You're getting it. So a uh, person that buys this is going to get the charger along with it. Original box, the three batteries. The two batteries work fine. The one uh, doesn't charge in the back. You have to use the wall wart. Um, uh, uh, not original charger for the wall wart. Um, the charger does have an original um, wall wart to uh, hook up to it. And there you go. Please ask any questions. What I'm asking is the price. No low ballers. No, uh, I wish I could have it for a lot less. It's not going to happen. I know what I got into it. I know what it is. It sh I showed you that it works. There's no games here. So I uh, hope it goes to a good home because I really, really love these radios. No intermod. And I really hate to get rid of it, but I need to thin the herd. Have yourself a great day.